Kim dum bum bum be da 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 dum bum da 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 I was about five and a half years old when my father bought me a violin. He said, if you can play the Mendelssohn Concerto someday, I will die happy. I graduated from high school when I was 17. This was 1943. The war was going full blast. I was drafted and sent to Europe as a rifleman. My commanding officer said to me, what are you going to do with that thing pointing to my violin case? I just said, you never know. Then one day, they drove us out to Potsdam, which is in the Russian zone. Suddenly we heard a lot of automobiles coming up the street. And out of one step, Truman, of course, we knew his face very well. But think of my surprise when my, <laughs> the next car stepped Joseph Stalin. Big round head and a big walrus mustache. Winston Churchill came out of the next car. His cigar must have been at least three feet long. We were told that we were going to play for those three gentlemen. In later life, you look back and you say, You've been a professional violinist for 50 years, but I've never been as nervous. 